Are you still trying to plan that last minute New Year's Eve party? Well, we have some ideas for you. It won't cost you a lot of money, and it's going to look gorgeous. Stephen Tokar is an event planner, also Michael Cardamone's wedding planner, yeah, which was beautiful, yeah, right. so we like to throw that in there. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's good to have you here. The idea right now is to do something quick, easy, affordable, but still look elegant, right? Yes, and that's what we did. And if you can imagine a trip to the hardware store. No. Yes, it would help you with all of this. Tim, I look at this and I don't think hardware store at all. Just add ice orchids, which are, uh -huh. are great. They're, they're an instant party maker. Uh, the same thing with the primrose. Those came from the hardware store. Well, I the think others, when you have orchids, I mean, they take you into every season. So they look beautiful all times of year. And they last for months. Yes. With just... Three cubes of ice. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. You know it. So as I had mentioned, things came from the hardware store. Mm -hmm. um, I pulled out all kinds of glass pieces that I had uh, had laying around, mm -hmm. and with a spray paint, uh -huh. and I used basically green and black. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a green, black, and white kind and of green theme. And white with silver mm -hmm. accents. Okay. So here we took this pan and sprayed it. Mm -hmm. Then we took the tape off, so that gave us a border. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this is so really... So this green is green spray paint? It is, and we spray painted the inside, oh. as well as the branches, well, as well cool as the that? candlesticks. So all we're going to do is take these stems of tulips uh -huh. and just encircle this yeah. pan all the way around. How beautiful. And it's really simple. And then, of course, this branch makes it a little interesting. Where did you with get the, the clear, branch? Uh, from a tree. <laughs> I feel like that was, that just made me feel like it was the dumbest question I've ever asked in my life. Where did you get the branch? No, well, no, I didn't know if you bought a fake branch, but this no, is a No, it's a real branch. branch. Okay. And then after you encircle the whole, the whole pan with the tulips, then you put the candles in the middle. So and you go all the way the around. And the branch doesn't catch on fire? And the branch doesn't catch on fire, but that makes for fun party excitement, well, isn't too. isn't that just lovely? And look at, we spray painted the candles, too. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. that right, well, I imagine we it. We spray painted the candles here. Okay. Isn't that so? Rather than buying the color candle, just spray paint them. Right. There's that box of spray paint. Okay, let's talk about what you did here. And what flower is this? Those are hyacinths. They smell delightful. I know, aren't they? They're as soon as I spring. walked into the studio, it smelled so good. Mm -hmm. So took the clear vase, spray painted it black, and mm -hmm. then took bullion wire. And you could take it; it comes in many different colors. Mm -hmm. And you just attach the inside with some tape. Mm -hmm. And okay. you can hold that for me. Can you hold it? Okay. Thank so you. you have some, so some just attach that. Inside with some tape. Uh huh. And then you and just then take this. And then roll it around. And wrap it around. And it makes for an interesting design. Well, how great is that? Let's see. Okay. Pretty and cool. You can do huh? whatever design you want. Yes, you can. And then tape it down and then put in whatever flower. And you're. And that was it. We just put the hyacinths light. in there. Okay. And as I said, it comes in so many different colors. Here are the candlesticks. Again, mm -hmm. painted the candles. Started with clear candlesticks. Put the, mm -hmm. uh, put the uh, spray painted them and the candles there. But what we did here, and I want to show you also with the Just Add Ice Orchids, is I yeah. took the orchid out of the pot. Now, it's not going to last as long as if it were in the pot, but I took it out of the pot. I put it in the candle holder, and then I used the clear tape to hold it and finished it with some moss. This all seems pretty simple. It didn't look like it when I first walked in because I thought, this is just gorgeous. It must have taken you forever. How long did it take you to do all of these projects? Like an hour to pull it together. Okay, let's talk about what's going on over so here. So here we have some stem cylinders. They could be painted also. You could st still do the same kind of banding. We just added a simple branch that was painted, another painted candle, and that's how we finished that. But this little grouping over here could also be very pretty for a buffet. How, how should you choose a theme? Should you have a theme for a New Year's Eve party? It's nice. I think what happened here is I was taken with the colors of the leaves and the foliage and the stems of the amaryllis. And that green sort of got me going with the whole look. And then uh, accenting it with the black because I think it makes it very rich, but it also makes it very handsome. So what would you call this theme then? Like if you were putting together, if you were sending out an invite or maybe an evite now at this point, the or a text message. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring in the green, or bring in the new year with green, uh, because it certainly is going to, uh, it's going to feel like spring, and I think we're ready for that after the holidays. We want to see these bright colors. I think so, too. What else can we do to make our party memorable for our guests? I think by putting this kind of attention 
on the table with the food. People don't always expect that. You know, this seems to be the last idea of things that uh, we don't take the time to do. Do you recommend party favors too? Or you don't even have to necessarily go that far if you're throwing something together last minute? My idea of the party is really for guests to say at the end of the party, if you ask, well, how was the party? And they just say, wow, from the time I got there to the time I left, Mm -hmm. It was great. Okay. And I think that's a successful party. I think probably the people ultimately make the party, they right? They do. They yeah. do. And keeping the people together instead of spreading them out. I see this all, all as a problem. Well, you certainly are a master of event planning. Thank so you. I want to give away your information, Stephen Tokar. You can get a hold of Stephen at the following number 216. 4310578 and happy new year to you my friends and we're going to send it over to Jason. Thank you. Andrea, thanks there. And you look, we've had some choirs over the week and the producers felt that there was something so good that they had to bring one choir back. That choir, the Cleveland Heights High School choir is about to play right now. 